Hello everybody, Minister Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we were able to get our ships upgraded to the new shield technology uh, that we had developed. We then proceeded on to group up with the new ships that we had built, and we are now proceeding on to the uh, system over here, the Coggin system to potentially lay siege to the planet of Tashak. Uh, the war is moving in our favor. We actually have a positive acceptance value for a white piece, but that is up to the negotiators in the Valdare Assembly, since they are the primary defenders in this, in this particular aspect of the conflict. So, we'll have to wait until they make a decision as to whether they want to continue the fighting or sign an armistice. In the meantime, we will continue to fight this and send our troops into battle. Alright, so... We still have some time to go before we get some new tech. 53 months for the Super Dreadnoughts, 15 months for the new weapons platforms. It really isn't going to give us anything, um, except it's going to continue our research chain for Titans, which we'll see how that goes. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, we're primarily just waiting for our troops, oh, our fleet and our troops to arrive in system and fly to the planet and then we will begin our attempts to take the planet and we'll see how things go in the meantime so while we're going to do that um one of my viewers had written a bit of a a journal entry from general courtney leinard who had was the commander of the forces that of our well, is basically the you know, the commander of our forces at the moment from the Battle of Cormley, about I think it's 145 days in the battle, which is about two thirds of the way through. Um, so I'll go ahead and probably read that here. It's been a little bit since we've done any kind of RP stuff, um, so it'll help kind of fill the time as we wait for our troops to move. All right, so let me just go ahead. I see we do have some battle going on before we look at that. All right, so these are some Omni troops or Omni ships that are attacking our defense station here. It looks like it's going in our station's favor, but we may need to reinforce our defenses in this area here. So we'll look into that. Um, I am actually gonna be moving a construction ship over into that area to begin working on that project. All right, so this is the journal entry from General Courtney Leinard. So another day in hell on, what the? Oh, debris analyzed, okay, sorry. All right, another day in hell on this God's forsaken planet. We've been fighting for 145 days now and haven't stopped even after we landed on the planet. My mother once liberated this planet with General Tobruk years ago in the Civelli Liberation during the Fourth Righteous Wars. Though the people weren't as hostile and she helped liberate the planet into the CSM, until they themselves were consumed uh, by instability caused by the C uh, CGA, uh, which wanted its territory back. When the Cormley spiritual mandate fell to the Star Assembly, they had veteran soldiers and mercenaries who were loyal and devoted to their puny empire. However, when the mandate was being overwhelmed, we had our hands tied by the current war. Our Archon unfortunately paid no attention like the rest of the Federation Council. I was disappointed, and it took six years for us to finally come back to this hellhole and fight on the battlefields. After 145 days, we have over 189,000 casualties, 144,000 of which are Alarian. The, the planet was already a wreck when we arrived, and the population is getting dwindled down due to battle after battle. 
Our troops are losing morale, and I don't know how much more we can take. We may have to fall back from the planet to this Hilcom 2 and regroup. See this because our supply ships are getting torn apart in the atmosphere, but they just keep sending them into the meat grinder along with my own men. As an angelic knight, I know we must stop the pragmatic knights residing on the planet and using it as a base. But how many more can we lose before this is over? Just to overcome the darkness. However, I think that since our enemies are giving us no quarter, we may need to give them none in return and resort to the darkness ourselves. That would have been a better question for my mother. We renew our assault in the morning. This is General Courtney Leinard, Weekly Log, signing out. Godspeed to us all, for the Republic. Okay. Just wanted to do that, because, I mean, people put a lot of effort into coming up with that stuff, so I want to at least acknowledge it. Give it its due. Um... So, our troops are, let's see, a couple jumps away. Then they have to fly across the system to get where they need to be. We have an idle science ship. Can we send them? That's going to be a dangerous trip. Are there any other debris areas that we can analyze? It's a bit dangerous. But we can send them there. Countrywide rally. The, the country is enjoying an economic rally. Chance for economic growth and population happiness has increased in all colonies. Take advantage of this rally by using the Influence Growth Planetary Edict. I understand. Let me take a look. Who was our economics rally? Core state energy colony. The influence growth. Okay, I will enable that on our energy planet. Oh, and we have a new tradition. Okay. Let's see here. Frontiers of a star nation are being pushed over outwards. For a purpose of colonizing and building frontier outposts, systems can is being half the regular distance away. Let's see. New colony star with additional pop. That's not really that important at the moment. The effect on increased tradition cost caused by the number of colonies is reduced by 20%. Let's do that one. Let's see, it's going to be 89,294. 75,897. A significant improvement or reduction. Engaging enemy fleet. Engaging enemy fleet. Ah, oh, yeah, because I didn't pay attention or close enough attention. We didn't. We lost the 
fortifications damage that we did, but their fortifications are significantly reduced anyway. I mean, it was over 29,000 when we originally started, now it's on the 16. Well, the rest of my fleet is arriving, we'll see how that improves things. These guys are jumping through my territory. Uh, one thing we also probably will want to do, how is this battle going? Another couple of ships arrived. Plasma throwers, physics research, engineering research, okay. Let's see. Actually, let's change the plans here. Move here. Let's get this Citadel class fortress built. In orbit of this gas giant. Engaging enemy station. It looks like our missiles are actually doing some damage here. We just need a bigger defense station here. Let's bring another construction ship up. You. Come to this system. This is another strategic control point. Let's get... Actually, no. Let's, let's build it... Let's build it there. So that even if the de the enemy does penetrate our defenses in this area, they will have to get through here. We may also want to build a station here as well. Because again, if they can get through here and get around, this is another control point. And there's also a habitable planet there. Initiating communications. Uh, Moy Tarskin won a research agreement for 10 years. We uh, will agree with that. They must have blown something up. Our strike craft are returning their ships. So they're down there. I know we are spending some minerals, but I think it's probably a good idea. Let's get a fortress built here. Back up this spaceport. 
And let's upgrade this spaceport. And are we still training those armies? Yeah, we're still training those new armies. Let's get them their supports. know if this station's gonna be able to get this job done. Okay, one of our science ships had to retreat. See if the fortress can withstand that bombardment. Evading hostiles. Let's go ahead and do what I was planning on. Let's get. Oh, we can't afford it. The eight percent war score with a thirteen acceptance score. some more ground troops arriving. That's our new armor and mechs, and this is our new infantry. The Isk Empire have insulted us. Why do you cover yourselves in strained textiles? Are you hiding something, or are you simply ashamed of your unfortunate appearance? Okay. I think... The League is sending a large fleet into Lorongo territory. It's an interesting move. Evading hostiles. Civilian freighter, there is my construction ship. They're in the process of building our new defense station. Those guys are still on their way. Under attack. 
evading hostiles. It'd be nice to get a science ship over here to analyze this debris, but, um... Probably not gonna happen. It looks like the fortress is holding up. Oh, what's all this? Ah, looks like we shot down a couple of Corvettes. Knocked out a Destroyer. Oh, someone foolishly jumped into this system. Two Destroyers down. Get back to assisting research. Back to assisting research. Station under attack. Oh, another enemy fleet has arrived. It is under attack from multiple stations. We should probably build... Sentinel Defense System E-Class. Synchronized Weapon Systems. Hmm. That sounds interesting, but in case 8,000 minerals? Weapons damage plus 50%, ship hull points plus 5,000, and weapons range plus 20%. Interesting. Our ship should have arrived in orbit. Construction complete. Yes, they have. And we've almost completely reduced the defenses here. These guys should all merge. Orbit. I'm actually going to go ahead and merge. I see, I probably want to select this one first, then this one. Merge the two fleets. No, that should be Gildengard who's commanding the fleet. We'll break it down into smaller fleets, um, eventually. Yeah, we got a lot of firepower here now. We'll give it a little bit more time before we attempt the landing. Really soften up those defenses. Has any movement been made in either of these wars? War zero war score, negative zero war score. That's interesting. I wonder where the Lor Lorongo's fleets are. All right, let's just take another closer look at the planet. 
Let's see, this is a glacial world, so the polar opposite of the last planet we were uh, occupying. It has hot geysers, interesting. Uh, titanic predators, that's going to be fun for our troops. Central Command Center. Who died? Admiral... Oh! Admiral Gildengard has died! At the age of 173. Repairs complete. Assist research. Alright, our new defense station is built. Titanic life. The native life of Samiko is built on an epic scale, far larger than anyone previously thought was possible for biological life. The question now in the minds of our researchers is what is their secret and can we benefit from it? Proposals to study the native life in greater detail are flooding in. Samiko. Geothermal world with titanic life. Ah, we probably actually need to um, build some improvements on this colony. Uh, proceed with the study, leave them alone, ensure that the research does no harm. Issue special project, titanic life monitoring. Research it. Construction. Complete. Oh, this is where that, uh... Oh, let's, um... Upgrade this. Build... Power plant. That's a different pop. Um... Build research center. Build a research center. Another research center. We'll go with a mine. Get rid of these tile blockers. And we're going to want the temple. We're going to want the visitor center. And that's it for now. Oh, and the other thing we want to do is get a spaceport building. All right, let's go take a look. Are we ready to land? They're at 804. They'll be zero soon enough. All right. Land the armies. We have no allied backup. They have 32 garrisoned armies. Plus their militia. Deploying liberation forces. Debris analyzed. Jeez, we're barely scratching them.
special project complete. Titanic life study was a success. It appeared to research and study the scientists on Samiko have managed to make a breakthrough and achieve limited communication with some of the Titans. While huge, slow, and difficult to talk to, the Titans are incredibly tough and strong. Some few have expressed a desire to join our military forces, where they will undoubtedly be an incredible asset. Titanic beasts can be recruited here, and even areas with high numbers of Titanic life are safe for colonists now. Oh. We can retreat. And we probably should. Invasion attempt aborted. For right. now. Construction complete. Ooh, that is gonna be a very, very, very hard planet Ocup to occupy. Alright. Um We are training more armies and our new Study here has given us a new opportunity. Let's see, we managed to destroy a cruiser and a battle cruiser somewhere. Ah, they must have retreated. Are we still fighting here? No, our station is still fighting. Um, it's gonna be interesting to try to get some troops out of here, but let's go see what this is, what this looks like. Titanic Beast. Okay, let's get those. Forty-two fifty health, but I think this is like a single Titanic beast, and it does a ton of damage. Special project complete. I mean, it does more damage than one of our armored divisions. So basically, we are a hiring Godzilla. <laughs> go fight in our army. I like the sound of that. Army recruitment finished. All right. Embark these troops. And get them over here. It's going to be a long trip. I think we're going to need them. Barely scratch them, and we're still recovering. Initiating communications. Uh, the Rochethi Communion wants a research agreement. We will agree with them. Speaking of research, we are two months away from the massive weapons platforms. We are getting kind of long on the episode, but I might actually wait for that to finish so we can pick a new research, and then we'll probably end the episode there.
Okay. A few more days. I think we're probably just going to keep a fleet named Gildengard Raiders to honor one of our most successful and long te longest tenured admirals. Alright, we're down to zero planetary fortifications. How do the armies look in orbit? Almost fully recovered. discovered all right there we are new research all right so theory super capital ships Citadel of Faith Fleet Academy the Grand Fleet so force plating Worlds component crystal forge plating. Hull points plus ten percent. I think that we're going to continue our Titan research chain, the super capital ships. Alright, so go ahead and end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.